Hello everyone. Welcome back to a third part of chapter East Dose. My name is Shreif Imraj Patil. I am working at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. In this video, we will discuss various methods of bread making. In the previous video, we discussed various stages in bread making which are scaling ingredients second is mixing which in detail we will discuss in this video lecture third is fermentation punching scaling rounding benching makeup and panning proofing baking cooling and the last stage is storing the objective of this video lecture is to explain various methods of bread making various methods of bread making are as follow first one is straight dough method second salt delay method third no time dough method fourth sponge and dough method fifth ferment and dough method sixth continuous bread making process and the last seventh one is charlewood bread making method in this method all ingredients are mixed together in one stage and kneaded until the flour protein is well developed then the dough is allowed to ferment for a predetermined time if the fermentation is up to 5 hours that is short process and if it is more than 5 hours it is long process method in long method the dough should be made tighter and reduce yeast quantity and temperature and increase the sugar and salt quantity let's watch the video on straight dough method welcome to the arizona culinary institute video learning series today you will be learning about the straight dough mixing method a large mixing bowl and adds the water this water should be about 70 degrees fahrenheit the chef is using fresh yeast, she'll place that in the water. Next, the chef adds the granulated sugar. This acts as food for the yeast. Using a wire whisk, the chef breaks up the yeast in the water and starts to dissolve the sugar. After about 30 seconds, the water will take on a slightly muddy appearance. She whisks for another 30 seconds. The chef then adds the flour. This will act as a barrier protecting the yeast from the salt. If salt comes in direct contact with the yeast, it will kill it. The chef adds the salt. Next, the chef adds the remaining ingredients. Here she's adding the remaining butter. She'll place the bowl on the mixer and using a dough hook attachment, she turns the mixer on low speed. She'll mix for about 30 seconds. At this point, the flour we begin to take on the water. This is called hydration. The chef checks for proper hydration after about a minute. If the dough is too wet, it might need more flour. If the dough is too dry, it might need more liquid. Here she grabs a piece of dough and feels it within her hands and it should feel like a wet sponge. The chef will continue to mix on low speed for a couple more minutes. The dough will separate from the bowl and form a ball around the dough hook. Once this is achieved, the chef stops the mixer, changes the speed to medium, and will continue to mix. This speed is good for proper gluten development. A good rule of thumb is to check on the mixer periodically to make sure that your dough is mixing correctly. After about three to four minutes, the chef will check to see if proper gluten development is occurring.
The chef checks the dough using what was called the painting method. She pulls out a piece of dough and pulls it apart. If she can pull it apart to five to seven inches without it breaking, the gluten has developed properly. Once the dough is finished, the chef lowers the bowl, removes the hook, and removes the bowl from the mixer. She will then transfer the dough into a previously oiled container. Here she's using a Lexan that has been sprayed with baking spray. This will prevent the dough from sticking to uh, the container. The next bread making method is salt delay method. Salt delay method also comes under straight dough method. In this method, all the ingredients are mixed except salt and fat. Due to absence of salt, the speed of fermentation is enhanced and gluten is matured in a reasonably short time. For this method, three-fourths of mixing should be given initially and one-fourth of mixing at the time of adding salt. The salt is added at the knockback stage. Third one is no time dough method. No time dough method comes under the straight dough method and it is the quickest of all methods. In this method, the dough is not fermented in the usual manner. It is just allowed to rest for 30 minutes. Because of less fermentation time, yeast quantity should be increased. The method is useful in a emergency. The quality of finished bread is not generally satisfactory. This bread stales rapidly. So the advantage of this method is that very quickly we can make a bread and the disadvantage is that it does not have a full flavor like the bread which is made using a straight dough method. Fourth one is sponge and dough method. In this method, ingredients are mixed in two stages. In the first stage, 60% of the ingredients like flour, water, yeast and sugar are mixed together. This sponge is fermented for a predetermined time which is generally kept till the mixture becomes double in size. When the sponge is ready, it should be broken down properly with a remaining water. This mixture is mixed with the remaining ingredients, 40% of the ingredients, which are flour, salt, sugar, fat, etc. Mixing operation should be carried out to the right degree. After mixing, it is allowed to rest for 45 minutes. For preparing this video, information is collected from professional baking, theory of bakery and confectionery, and from google.com please watch fourth part of east doors in the next video thank you very much for watching the video